Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be talking about something that I made. That I've been working on. It's called EasyBot. Well, it's your Easy Moderation Bot. I'll be posting builds to GitHub as I fix them, but so far this is the best version that I have. And I'm going to go through how setting it up and how to use it in your server. It's very simple how to use it, but let's get this going. So first you want to go to this site, discord.com slash developers slash applications. And also make sure you have a copy of EasyBot. It's available on my GitHub. I'll link it in the video description. But once you go to discord.com slash developers slash applications, go to new application, type in whatever you want. And then, I already have one set up. This is how it'll look. Make sure first, go to bot and then click add new bot. And then just click OK and you should see something like this. Go to OAuth 2. Go to bot. And you can, if you want to be able to do anything without having to mess around with all these, just click administrator, copy, and move on to the next step. But we're going to set up to view channels, send messages, manage messages, read message history, uh, tick and ban members. Boom. You just copy and paste that in here. And you can add it to your server there. It's very simple. But now once you're here, make sure you just Make sure you have your config.json file open or ready after you have a course uh, extracted it. Copy. We're going to paste that into the bot token here area. And now you can define your prefix. We're going to set that to, as an exclamation point. We're going to set a status. Smurf is cool. And this is where you're likely going to get confused. I'm going to show you a few things. <coughs> In your Discord app, make sure if you're here, just go to User Settings, go to Appearance, scroll down, make sure Developer Mode is ticked on, and now you need to find your channel that you want moderation logs sent to. If you don't want this sent, or if you don't want moderation log sent, just replace this with false. Exactly like that, and it won't send logs, but we want them to send logs, so just click on your channel, right click, copy ID. We go here, where it says mod log channel ID, you paste your channel ID that you have copied, and make sure that this is set to true. And now you're configured. So now you can close this up, and then open main.exe. Give this a moment. It usually does take a moment. Welcome to Smurf Bot Mod Bot 1.0. Give it a minute. Uh, if it does not connect, which is rare and does happen, just go ahead and close it. Reopen the main.exe or bot.exe, whatever it's named, I forget what I name it. Connecting to Discord. Bluebot has connected to Discord. Caution, closing this window will cause the bot to shut off. Keep it open. So now very simple. Help. You have very simple commands. Help, it will show this menu. Ban, you have to you can type the member name, ID, or you can mention them, and then add a reason. Kick is the same thing. Add a, type their name, ID, or mention, and add a reason. It's pretty much simple stuff. You can also warn people. Because... And you'll notice, for one... It replied to the Smurf123 was warned. It sends a log here 
saying that I was warned for a reason because, and I, you notice I have a mention. Message. Boom. Uh... So let's just say I want to kick, I don't think it can kick Reborn Bot, but I, if you try to kick an administrator, it'll, you'll notice this here, it'll just say forbidden. That means that someone tried banning someone they shouldn't. And let's just say I want to grab an ID, you can copy an ID. Because it will not work in this case. It fully worked, but it did its thing, but it cannot do it. All right. In some cases, you may have to restart the bot, but otherwise, it's a quick look over over the simplest moderation bot. One click start. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Thank <music> you.